And I say this to young therapists, too. Don't go into practice and, and live an isolated professional life. You have to be in groups of others. So I have a supervision group where 10 of us have met. This has also been going on over 20 years. And it's a case presentation. Every time we meet, somebody presents a case. And we get supervised by others. We supervise each other. <clears throat> I have another case where I lead a younger group of people in supervision. Uh, right up here in this room. And uh, these are all people who are younger than myself. I've been meeting with the same group again for a long time, a couple of decades. Nobody's left, no new members have come in. They're about the best therapists I know anywhere. And I feel it's kind of silly for me to be paid by them right now because uh, they know everything I know I know. Um, and so I have, a group, I have a writing group of doctors who write at Stanford. We meet two once a month. I have a lot of groups that I am with, so I, I like to people in my life. I have lunch with friends at least a couple of times a week. So I, I like to people my my life with a lot of close friendships. I feel that's a that's an intrinsic to good health. I remember from my time at the laboratory how impressed I was with uh, the training that you do with your therapists and in terms of having them working on themselves. And these in these groups that you had, everyone, you know, this group therapy, I took that back with me and I gave a lot of thought to it. And we do some think group things here that I think are inspired by the work uh, at the laboratory. Uh, the one thing I can say is and that there isn't one thing that I can tell you. You know, <laughs> it, it's all these things. Uh, maybe, maybe the thing that I place most importance on is the thing that I just said to you is that there, there's nothing more important in what goes on the, in, in the therapy hour than the nature of the relationship between the two of you. That has to be sound, it has to be exploring, it has to be constantly evolving and, and inspecting between the two. I, I can't think of any single thing that I would say more than that. And the other thing I have to say is Socrates' idea that you really have to examine your own life and know yourself very well. That, that's the most important thing I can say. And, 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 and in addition to that, avoid the isolation of a therapist's life. You know, stay in touch with colleagues, form groups, form supervision groups, uh, find a supervisor, but don't live an isolated life because that's an occupational hazard of psychotherapy. So I will say that to you as well.
theory, when I, when I am with Greek therapist, the theory is never dictatorial. It is the, the, the richness of the approach which is important. And I think people, uh, I think about a lot of people, but most of the people I know in Greece are trained by you. So it, it comes back to you, my dear Harris. <laughs> Most of the therapists I know are your product. <laughs> so I don't know if it's well, a therapist or if it is Harris Kapakis <laughs> training which is creating some people like him. Yeah, you, you, you've met those that you know were yes. trained by Ash Mastery, but uh, you, you've met the uh, Vasilius, you've met the Vasilius. Yes, sure. And I loved it. I, I met Vasilius when he was already quite sick and uh, I met his wife. And I loved very, I loved, I really, his wife was a very, very important person. She was also a little full of I think we should continue to take advantage of the systems thinking part of the origins of family therapy, not restrict the focus to the family system, but look throughout all of the ecology uh, for systems that are at work, including those internal systems that I've identified, including, of course, the family system, the couple system, and the larger system. So, to me, I'm as enthusiastic about that as I ever was in my training. I still think that this is a, um, a big part of the solution to the world's problems, is um, being able to look through an ecological or systems lens. And I do think that family therapists, by training, you know, they get that. Um, and, and then, then they, they get, get a special, special level of expertise dealing with the family system. But I see that as uh, the, lines the lines are beginning to blur with um, family therapists and other professionals. Uh, to me, the kernel that will keep moving forward is systems thinking. I hope that you will find things that are different. I certainly could not predict the amount of changes that you will introduce to the field. So it will be incorrect for me to be, you know, I have, in my life, I have worked with family organizations that are very, very different. When I started working, I come from a very traditional, my family was a very traditional father, mother, three children, and a very large extended family. There was no divorce in my family. Among my children, one of my children is divorced. I had worked with lesbian and same-sex couples. I had worked with two homosexuals and two lesbian women together. These are things that did not exist 50 years ago. What you will find is something that I cannot imagine. I will not be there and I wish you good luck. I am sure you will be wiser than I am. My message is that you are better are describing what you are interested in than I am. So the message to the audience is to accept their limitation. <laughs> I accept my limitation. That's it. Goodbye. Thank you very much for having me. We're really very grateful. And we, okay. had, we had a good time with you. We enjoyed Thank it. I hope you enjoyed it also. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.